This year's San Diego International Film Festival begins tonight, and we're about an hour away from the red carpet. Let's check back in with ABC 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt, who joins us live from Balboa Park. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Lindsay. You can already feel the buzz here at Balboa Park as people begin to come up the red carpet and go right into the Museum of Photographic Arts for tonight's opening film. Always throughout the San Diego International Film Festival history, there has always been a concentration on military films, which is very appropriate in our county. Here in San Diego, according to Sandag, we have the largest concentration of military population. In fact, one in 10 San Diego are somehow uh, connected to the military. And this year, the biggest film called Mending the Line was actually shot right here at Camp Pendleton. And Mending the Line is really a special drama, a really touching film about two very opposite veterans that need to come together, both, both to heal their past as well as their future. No self-respecting trout's gonna eat that. So what do I do? Mend the Line. Mend the line. After you cast, flick your wrist forward to mend the line above the fly so the fly will float true. Two veterans, decades apart in age and wartime, fly fish in the waters of Montana. Keep the rod low. Keep it low. Keep it low. Now lift. Got it. <coughs> okay, easy now. Easy. Yeah. Keep the tension on it. Okay. Ike, who fought in Vietnam, finally agrees to teach Coulter, still recovering from Afghanistan, the lessons of the river. And now, we let him go. What? We let him go. Are you serious? Mending the Line is based on a true story. Tanya Mantooth, the CEO of the film festival, says as a show of appreciation, men and women from Camp Pendleton will be the guests of honor. We're also going to be giving a military award at the Night of the Stars tribute. So it's really about taking that commitment and having it thread through the whole festival because that's really important to us. Thank you. Mending the Line is one of three powerful military films in this year's festival, and it goes beyond wartime and really into the issues and the battle scars that are left long after the sacrifice and the service are over. And coming up at 5 o'clock, I'm going to take you to the top gala films, all premiering here in San Diego, several of them already making Oscar buzz. And we'll have that in 30 minutes. All right, looking forward to it, Kimberly, thank you.